Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Welcome to the Not So Daily Show, the show that comes to you daily, except when it doesn't. We begin today's show with some breaking news. The IMF have granted South Africa a $4.3 billion loan. That is $4.3 billion, which equates to 70 billion rand. And if you don't get how much that is, I will explain it in our currency. That is 35,000 G wagons. That is 7 million Gucci belts. That is 23 million bottles of champagne, which equates to one round of six. <laughs> ah, man. Throwing the country away for 15 seconds of pleasure. <laughs> Speaking of men, the only species that is capable of almost anything besides apologizing. If you have been on Twitter lately, you might have seen a certain photo floating around on a bunch of celebrities' pages without any caption. That is because the man in the photo has been accused of sexual misconduct by touching himself inappropriately in front of a colleague while on set. He says that nothing happened, and this is his version of events. We totally misread the situation. On Monday the 20th, we were shooting a scene, and um, I had a problem with my costume. My pants were too tight, and I was struggling. Every time I, I had to get up, it felt like they were going to get torn. So, while I was sitting there, um, I was sitting and inspecting. This is inside the, the, the room. I mean, there was cast and crew present. Um, I was busy inspecting my pants uh, to see if um, they were not getting torn. And when I looked up, I saw uh, her standing in a, at some distance looking at me. So, she assumed that I was playing with myself, which was not the case, you know. Now, I'm not saying that it's not, but what he says in the next clip just sounds a bit too familiar. It's, it's very confusing for me, you know, because this is someone who, you know, often likes to ask me to give them a back and shoulder massage. Uh, I'm a trained masseuse, so I do massage work. Oscar winner Lupita Nyong'o is revealing a frightening encounter with disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein, saying he led me into a bedroom, his bedroom, and announced that he wanted to give me a massage. Well, judging by the last clip in the video, it seems the production didn't quite believe his story. My, my, my contract has been uh, terminated, um, a lot of you know that. I guess there was no happy ending to that massage story. But if you feel you didn't get a happy ending in, let's say, your last relationship, there's a man that might have just come up with the perfect way for you to get back at your ex. Check this out. Akan's mother has been forced to block dozens of calls after her ex-partner allegedly took her phone number and plastered it on polls here around the CBD, telling people to call up and impersonate Chewbacca for a chance to win $100. This would be the most childish breakup I've ever had. Like... All he had to do was be mature and go, I don't love you anymore, I want to move on. The calls have been waking her and her three young children up at odd hours in the evening, and they're yet to stop. <laughs> I won 500 bucks. And on that breakup note, it's over for today's show. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And oh, turn on the bell so you don't miss out on any episodes of the Not So Daily Show. The show that comes to you daily, except when your bell is not turned on. Cheers.